Hi students, today we'll draw American National Standard Thread and we'll use various commands on CAD. So let's learn together how we can draw this American National Standard Thread. So first I will take the line command and while drawing American National Standard Thread, we'll use a lot of prepositions. So I'll take the my cursor to the line command and press twice left key to activate the command. Now my command is activated. Now I will specify the first point of the line. So I'll press left key again. So now I will give the distance to this line. So I'll write 200. Then I will press the enter. So now this line is 200 and my dimensions which I'm using all are in mm. So now I have to draw as I have taught you in the manual drawing we have to draw the four lines now I have to draw the angular depth that angular depth is equal to 0.86p so I am assuming the value of p that is 40 so it is 34.4 so what I will do I will take this offset command and now it's asking me the offset distance now I will offset this line so that distance is 34 34 point four and then I will press enter now I will offset this distance so this is the offset distance to escape from the command to deactivate the command I will press escape now I have to show the upper truncation and the lower truncation and upper truncation is d by 8 and the lower truncation is also d by 8 that is 4.3 mm so what I will do I'll again take the offset command I'll press the offset command so I have to give the distance offset distance that offset distance is 4.3 so I have written 4.3 now I'll press enter then I can offset this 4.3 and 4.3 so these are my offset lines and these are the truncational lines now what next I need to do to escape from the command so I can use the escape mode to deactivate the command. Now I can draw a vertical line so again I will go back to the line command and press there the left key of the mouse. Now I will draw a line a vertical line so and I will deactivate again the command by pressing the escape. Now I can offset this as the pitch is 40 mm so I can draw the lines at uh, half of the pitch that is 20 20 mm okay so again I will take the offset command now after offset command I have to give the distance at what distance I have to draw these vertical lines that is 20 half of the pitch so I will write down 20 and I can press enter so now I can offset this line so take cursor there offset this line and we can go on so I'm pressing the twice the left key of my mouse so using the left key of my mouse so we can go on offsetting these lines okay so then to escape we have to press the escape to deactivate the command okay fine now what else we have to do we because these are the v-threads these are the v-threads what we have to do we have to connect I can again go to the line command press the, to activate the command I'll activate the command then I'll go connect this point to specify first point and this point then pressing okay so before going that I will take you a little a step back I'll take I will erase this line I'll take you a step back you can see my district cursor is orthogonal now I will I'll keep it on the angle command where I can draw the angles okay so I have activated I have press left key of my mouse here to get this activated this command now I can do it draw the inclined lines very easily without any hesitation now see you can see I can take the cursor there and press the left key of my mouse so then I can keep the escape command 
So I'll show you one more command, my dear students, how we can copy this to put it to other places. So there is this one, it's a copy command, so I can press there. So now I have activated the copy command. So I will copy, highlight this, and it says me highlight. I will say highlight. I highlighted this triangle that is of the v-shape now i can press the enter now i can move this or copy this to the other places see i'm taking this and pressing the left key on my mouse to place it there okay to escape again to get rid of the command so i have to press the escape mode to get rid of the command okay this is the first part which we have drawn and uh, we I, we can also draw the lower part of it so again I will take the line command so my line command is activated so I'm drawing the lines okay so before starting this better is to use the orthogonal command so I have already drawn this line and this line and this line so then escape okay now students what else we need because there are so many lines now which we don't need as you know in case of American National Standard third both crusts as well as it roots are flat so how we can now get rid of these lines which are not needed so let's use the trim command see this is the trim command I have taken my cursor there I press there there it shows the trim command where I can press the left key of my mouse now my trim command is activated so now we have to highlight these lines so I have taken my cursor there I can press the left key of my mouse to highlight these lines so I'll start doing that I'm taking cursor there and pressing the left key of my mouse to highlight these all lines where we need to trim okay okay now after uh, highlighting all these lines now what we have to do we have to press the enter so I have pressed the enter button now I can trim the lines which are not needed so these lines are not needed see I'm pressing the left key of my mouse and simply trimming those lines which are not required So you'll enjoy doing this I hope if you like this video please do share this video with your friends and don't forget to press the bell icon of my channel for most more such videos see uh, I'm trimming those lines which are not needed to get the final shape final profile of this American thread okay now I can press the enter to deactivate again so again the, these lines are not needed so I can use the erase mode directly to erase those lines so I have taken the erase mode I will press erase those lines directly So after erasing those lines I have to enter the I will enter the from the keyboard now you can see these two lines are disconnected so I'll join them together I'll take a line and join them together escape same I could do it here on this point escape fine now the profile is ready as you can see the profile is completely ready so I can hatch the profile so I can go to the hatch command and take the hatch pattern now see hatch pick internal points so I have to pick the internal points you can see 
the whole is and then press